Tim Rogers. He says he feels like an old football that no one wants to kick around anymore. Not the best lyrics in the world, because that could actually be a relief, and not the feeling of abandonment I think Tim was trying to capture there. But let's put that to one side, because he's attempting a solo career now, and we should be supportive. Please welcome Tim Rogers. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, if I could uh, open with a question. What's the biggest crowd you've ever played to as a musician, Tim? Oh, probably about 50,000 at a festival a couple of years ago. Mm. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How many songs have you written, do you think, in your lifetime? Um, about 100, I guess. Gee. Impressive number. <laughs> That's a lot. Now, Tim, uh, this is one out of left field. If your house was on fire, what item would you save first? Uh, uh, a guitar. Right. I guess. Right. Mm. And, uh, and this fire, um, what do you think might have caused it? Uh, <laughs> an electrical fault or, or perhaps it was deliberately lit? Uh, I don't know. Well, do you have any enemies that, that might want to <laughs> see harm come to you in this way? No, 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 no. Yeah, but hypothetically. No. Right. No, it's just as well then. <laughs> uh, now, uh, now, you've got a new, um, new single out, which I quite like. Great. This is not bad at all. Um, I think it's very catchy. Thank you. It's uh, very reminiscent, I think, of uh, that old Air Supply song. <laughs> Air Supply? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm all out of love, you know. I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. You think it, um... I can't sing off. You think it sounds like that? Uh, yeah, well, it's very similar. Very similar. I wouldn't say it's, um, very similar. Well, it's not identical, but... It's nothing like it. <laughs> well, well, it is. <laughs> it is, it is. It is. And, and, in fact, earlier uh, this afternoon, after I'd seen a preview of Tim's new song, I ordered our technical staff to do an audio comparison of the two songs. <laughs> and I think you'll find this result very interesting. Could we roll the tape, please, Dean? Now, the first one is Air Supply. Okay, now, now this one is Tim Rogers. You don't believe in it when I do. Try reading between the lines. Well, comments? So, um, you're suggesting that I've ripped off air supply? No, 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 no. I am not suggesting that at all. I think that's up to the audience to decide. <laughs> Because uh, what I'd like you all to do is send an entry to the Tim Rogers Air Supply Spot the Difference competition. Uh, and if you can spot a difference between those two songs, uh, you will win a prize, which I'll have to organise during the week. Okay, uh, I better, uh, there we are. There's the new single uh, from Tim Rogers, and, uh, and there's the, uh, the one that uh, sounds remarkably like it. In fact, they even look similar, don't they? Incredible. Tim Rogers, ladies and gentlemen, please thank him. He's uh, the UMI guy. Tim Rogers, thank you Tim. Thank you, no, thank you. Fantastic. And uh, Tim, here's one out of left field. If your house was on fire, what item would you save first? Uh, a guitar. Right. I guess. Right. Mm. Well, Tim, we've got a bit of a surprise for you. <laughs> uh, this is your house here. <laughs> Now, Tim, uh, as you know, it's 30 minutes away, so let's just see if you're a man of your word. Ready, set, go! Tim, go, go, go! Tim Rogers! Thank you, Francis.